時は来た行くぞはあよし来い来いラウンド1レディー Hey, Blaring, how you doing? Good to see you, Kobe. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, just uh, saw that Bushido was interested in uh, in playing, so looks like I caught him at a good time, and so he says he'll join in a bit. Um, but yeah, uh, and if anyone's interested in sparring, feel free to join us. Um, either of you two want to spar, uh, we can go ahead and start that. We can start a room on. So. Um, I don't know how much time I'll have, but it'll be a lot of fun, and so I can always use more sparring. Kobe, Blurring, did you guys want to join? Did you guys want to do a room? Gotcha. Understand. All right. Okay, Blaring. Let's set this up. We'll do a password today's day. You know. So. So, if you forgot, if you didn't catch that password, let me know. I'll let you know. Come on in, Blurring. Uh, I'll send you the password in case you don't have it. I'll do a one-on-one -on -one with, uh, I'll do a one-on-one -on -one with, uh, Bushida. So when Bushido comes in, we'll do a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm gonna do a one-on-one -on -one with Bushido for a short set, and then we'll I'll do sets with blurring too. Um, that will.
Very good. I see. So he's just going to be patient. We'll do that. We'll deal with that. We'll crack him open. There we go. All right, now he's responding, so this is good. When Bushida comes in, I'm going to um, set a set up with him, um, because he was the original one invited, <laughs> just that he really wants to do a set. So I'll set the first to fives once we do, once we shoot. Yeah. We'll set it up to our first to five. I haven't fought Bushida in a long time. Yeah. Let's figure he's true. Promise sets to where is Bushido? Uh, it's just like because I promised him, and yeah, so let's see.
Yeah, so I'll do, I'm going to do a set with uh, Bushido, and then after that I'm available. Uh, Bushido's going to do ranked after the set, so we'll do sets. And then, um, but blurring, I definitely want to train with you. Um, it's just, um, I'm just going to honor the, the, the matchup with Bushido, and then, uh, and then I'll be available. Sorry to, sorry to bounce you around like that, so. Yeah, it's a maybe. How do we change the settings? Oh, okay, there we go. Do like this. Nope. Uh, Blaring, um, I really appreciate your patience, like, a lot, so I, I'm sorry about that. Hey, good to see you. Uh, everything's going okay. Um, my wellness is better. I do have coughing episodes, but I'm I'm well. Just the lingering cough's probably gonna last a while. But um, but otherwise, no longer sick. Just cough. Um, well, everything's good. Family's doing good, and we had a good Christmas. And looking forward to New Year's. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay, I said. That's what I'm training for today. Get you set, Stomp.
That elbow punch is really important in this matchup. It's the, one of the things that we are at against Falka. And it's important that I stance check it. So like I have to stance check it if um, if at the time that I did the elbow um, that it's close stance follow up is six six kk if if I was open stance then the follow up is four four k p plus k so and if I get it wrong it's gonna whiff if I get it wrong it's gonna whiff and he does ha he does have kind of reverse on Kazemi so um, but it's good damage. Opening is always close stance, so that works well. Now he's using throws good. That was down, down to, that was the two throw. Take advantage of every moment we have Nitaku, so. Starting off with doing throws, but if he starts a barring, that's when we switch to attack. And that's the danger of the attack. Okay. So, Nitaku is so important against Taka. One of the things you have against him is to do Nitaku. Delay throws can also get. That was a delay throw, so he, he ducked, but then I threw it after he kept. Excellent choices. Now I did the correct wake up. I didn't. I didn't get up too quickly, and that was good. But he guessed correctly after, so that was really good stuff. Yeah, he's right now he's he's in a more watching mode, so it's good. His patience is good. Um, I'm probably testing his patience a lot. Okay, I guess we start over. I guess I'm testing his patience a lot, but um, his patience is good. So when patience is good, delay throw becomes pretty strong. Um, but you got to be very careful. And, Taka's scary once he, when he gets get, guesses correct against you, it's really scary. I'm also making him afraid to, um, to do delays. Because I, I don't... I don't like it when Taka feels comfortable doing delays against you. And so, so I'm not hesitating to interrupt some of his streams, even at the risk. Um, nice. See, very nice. So now he's using more attacks. And he's going to punish the Abari. This is excellent. That was beautiful. 
It's a bit in the color around. <laughs> Hi, Lightwing Dragon. Thank you very much. Taco matchups hard. You have to you have to use your knee taco when you have it. You have to do a, some gambles. point in the matchup the thing that would help him is to mix up whether he's going to use strings or not strings uh, mix that up so I'm not saying to do to not do it or to just do it I'm saying mix it up right now I'm getting away with punishing strings right and so you got to be careful and that's good so now he's using not so far good And so it's really important to pick your strings, yeah. That's beautiful. Very beautiful. Get strong twice. After the evade, it's a lot harder. I tap down, that's bad. Very good patience. See, that was perfect patience there. Very good patience. Let me punish the high. They're going good. They're going good. Yeah, 
see. That was perfect patience. And he, he tried to bait to see a response. And then I saw a delay, so I had a delayed response and he countered that. It's really good. It was a very smart play at the end and he kept himself collected. So now he's mixing it up. He's mixing up between strings and pokes. He's not over committing, right? And because Leon likes to punish you, if you if you go for strings, Leon does like to disrupt that. He's got the tools for that. So. Perfect. He went for the mid instead this time. Very good. That was so good. His adjustments are so much better. Good. Damn, Taka not getting knocked down after that. That doesn't knock down on Taka, so it's like, ah, shit. Oh, uh, such a good thing. <coughs> That's the lingering cough I was talking about. It's a few episodes a day. Huh, that's odd. I said to 10 Val, I guess he wants to jump out of the rematch, so he doesn't like rematching, I guess. So he wanted to do first to fives to threes? I don't know. Round one. I'm waiting for ads on his stream. Hey, what's up, Rick? Oh, message on Twitter? Okay. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> no problem at all. Let's just fire. Okay, yeah, sounds good. I have no idea. I don't. I don't really count.
I like his fuzzy. So I do like his fuzzy grinding, um, and I have a plan for that. Uh, we're starting the score over, I don't really care. Bring to front, that's interesting. There we go, that should bring me out. Have a good night, um, thing. Yeah, um, tomorrow might be a little tougher, but I think sometime on the weekend, I'm not sure when. This is this is kind of a busy next few days. Um, I got a friend from Japan who's visiting tomorrow. forward to, to sparring again soon.
That was open stance, so it's full 4K was the answer. I probably got it wrong. Yeah, you keep it up. Round uh... one. <coughs> Ready? Oh, I thought I was going to cheat that one. Nice. Hep toss always good. Hey Jimmy, good to see ya. <laughs> Let's try this funny opening. Round one. Ready? Go. Good. 
goodness cards. <laughs> I just can't hit him. <laughs> Round three. Ready? Go. My time is here. It's <laughs> good patience. Punish me for stringing, so it's good stuff. Just need to throw a bit when he's patient. But it's good. I like that he mixes it up between his pacing is mixed up too. But it's more between games as opposed to rounds, but he's mixing up his pacing very good. Slow. I did the right combo, but it's too slow. <coughs> yeah. That's a nice half circular. I don't know if it's a half circular, but I thought I was trying to evade. And the counter hit suggested it was a half circular, so that was good. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I I forgot to set the settings to do random stage, so. Um, Okay with it. It's scary at times. Leon doesn't have the best Nitaku, so it's like 
And but there's a lot of things I gotta work on before I complain about matchups. Like I have to remember his strings, like just know them so I don't get caught off guard by them. Yeah, I'm, I'm not at the point where I can complain about the matchup yet, so <laughs> I have to play it better first. <laughs> then I can complain if it feels lopsided. But this game, matchups don't really get lopsided. It's so, so Yomi heavy. I mean, like, you have to play to a very, very high level for it to, for you to feel the matchup problem, matchup challenge. lag there though that we like spiked a lot in that round more than we've the whole night so that's good mix up there and that I tried to see if I could evade that last part usually body checks are surprisingly linear so Now he's evading to the back, so that's good. Let's see this. It can, it can. He, he's doing a good job evading some of them, but yeah. Catch him on the standing up. Yeah, 3-3-P can go under quite a bit of his mids. That'll be good to learn. Round 
I cannot believe elbow punch didn't come out. <laughs> elbow punch did not come out. Ah. Uh, uh, PP did. Okay, interesting. Let's go. Okay. Hmm, evade didn't come out. Okay. I evaded too early. I I have to wait a moment. I, that was way too early to hit evade. So nothing came out. That was a very fun game though. Okay. <laughs> Those whiffs are so dangerous on their key. If like you get if you mess up your timing against them, it's so bad. I hate that. I, I was prepared to not be in the ring out zone, but uh, I always forget he's going to fall, so we got to deal with uh -oh. That's really good. I didn't ex I haven't seen him do that one before. That's good. So the back like the slap into uh, the turnaround hit into knee. I've never seen that. So good to know. Can't just duck. Okay. <coughs> yeah.
Hey, God, one miss, evade. Evade on the jab. That's nasty. suck. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I recovered from an illness that was for a week. That was because I hesitated on what to do after low punch. He does like to favor the throw there, but it's really, it's a good gamble, I'm like he's mixing that up properly. Yeah, he can push you out too with attack, so it's it's a mix up. <laughs> so it's a it's an attack defend mix it's an attack throw mix up, so it's like okay. Um yeah. Now don't get thrown is kinda tough. Yeah. Uh, 
Should be it. Round two. Ready? Go! Good to see you, Princess. Hope you're doing really well. That's annoying. I botched an input, so I went defensive because of the botched input. Thanks a lot, Hungry Centaur. So I'm gonna try a risky opening. We'll see if it works or not against Taka. But it should be mitigated, we'll see. Yeah. Man, I can't believe that that will hit. That was good though. Beautiful. So hard thing with Taka, Oki timing is very different against him. He gets up very slowly. And so I have a high chance of right now a lot of my the stuff that I do is he's still invincible by the time I get to the hit frame. So I'm doing really slow stuff. And even then, um it just it's mi missing the window. All right, back, back, uh, back, back into uh, 8K won't work there. I thought it would mitigate the kick, but I still get the knockdown. So good to know. Yeah. 
I'm completely, I'm completely baffled still. Alright. I'm trying to do slow stuff, which I should. This is really, really good stuff. I do like how fast he reacts to certain stuff or is anticipating. And he converts on the evades really well. I Right now I'm not, so I think I need to keep it safe when I evade. Like, it's having, I'm having trouble punishing a talk on evade, so I gotta do other stuff. Stuff like that messes me up too. I thought it won't work. I'm not even sure how to hit him right now.
That was nuts, that was a lot of fun. appreciate the set. I think um, into stance. It's not that threatening mid-stage or counter hit by the last hit. Okay. Yeah, it's... I need to learn about those tools. Um, some of his some of his string mix-ups are good when he, when he stops going full string, right? Like, when he did, I think it's like 4P into knee, that was really scary. Um, and then, his, it's not that he's evade punishing, but he has, he's picking options, it's similar to like Akira's shoulder, like evade into Akira's shoulder, or Leon's evade into uppercut. He's using some kind of move that's beating out some of the options I do in that situation, and it's really scary. It's like, I, it, you know, you don't really see it because it, before you know it, you got knocked by it. So I have to re-watch the video to see what he's doing there and learn what my options are there. It might be simple as like, I just need to low punch when he evades and what's probably happening is I jab, he evades, so I jab again and his move just beats jab. It could be something like that. But whatever it is, like I'm taking a huge amount of damage for doing like, for doing a high jab after he evades or something like that. And I gotta figure, I gotta watch the video, see what that is, because that's really messing me up. Like, it it makes it so jab become, like, it's like a hard counter for a double jab. So, yeah. Very, very good set. Um, that was so much fun. Um, and then it becomes, when he gets defensive, I actually, you know, like, he kind of has a feeling for my rhythm for, and I tend to be biased towards the mids and highs, because I'm trying to counter hit. So then, um... But when I happen to do lows, he knows when I'm gonna do when I'm gonna finally do the low. So I'm fighting my own stubbornness, and then but it feels but when that happens, it feels like he's blocking everything, and so then that that slow that will slow me down, right? That's that gets into my head and goes like, how am I gonna crack this thing? Um, similarly, you know, he's he's doing the long duck in the standing guard, and that's good. So when I do something like uh, guard break, it's not really working because he's not he's using crouching and then standing up trying to re react to stand up and so if he sees that guard break i need to do i need to mix up with uh leon's forward stance into punch which i started to do at the end but it's still like i have to i have to really use it more heavily against him even though there were a few times i think maybe twice where he evaded it but generally that's the option because that's the one that's going to keep him Want, that's going to make him want to stand up and guard or evade, and I can do other options. Um, Leon's an interesting case because Leon actually has really good evade punishment, but the opponent has to do very specific stuff for it to work. And but in the cases where Leon has evade punishment, he actually has a huge combo. Like he has huge damage. It's just that uh, if opponents know to keep tight in these evade wars, then then the stuff that Leon has doesn't do as much, right? Like Leon's uppercut, you need a counter hit, and you don't get a counter hit when you do evasive hits with it. Most of the time, you get a recovery hit because when you're doing evasive stuff, like going under a high attack with his uppercut, that's not a counter hit. It, in theory, you think it is, but what you, most of the time when that happens, when you cheat, you're getting a normal, you're getting a recovery hit instead of a counter hit because you're not hitting during the execution frames, you're hitting during the recovery. And so that move when used to like, as an evasive move is just for a tiny chip, right? Uh, so that move really wants to be a counter hit, 
but that's also what makes it rough that it's kind of like a lot of counter hit launchers you can evade and you have a lot of advantage so yeah um what time is it yeah i can do one more set let's do one more set so yeah so um, i need to see exactly what move you're doing too oh i forgot to change it to the it does say the stage says random but it's, not, it's only random in between Yeah. Sorry, sorry about the random stage thing. So we'll see how this goes. Very good. Punish me. You do need to punish me for staying down. You want to make your Okizemi stronger by doing that. So now he's punishing me for staying down, like right off the bat. And that's really important. So Taka can escape that pounce, but he's got to use a good tech very good specific technique to wake up, which is I recommend holding down or up and then tap guard and then mash PG PG alternately really fast. Like this, like like that. If you do that, you'll escape that pounce. You won't get pounced by the half circle back row.
Nice, nice. So hot in the kick is a mid, okay. Nice. <laughs> it's always funny. It would have been awesome if that would have worked. That was an awesome slap. Just crouching and then stand guard if I do it like fast enough to block elbows, interesting. Nice 15, thanks for the tip.
<laughs> like the goose egg of death. <laughs> yeah. There's a way, but it's okay. There's a way. Just wait, it's a string. I tried to low punch him out of that kick. I get. <laughs> okay. yeah. Taco's just agile like a, like a tiger. This taco's too fast. I'm gonna punish it. I have to tap out the wrong time.
Ah, I love that. Man, that was a, that was a cool hockey. Oh my god, good patience into the crouch back dash kick. Ah. Yeah, I like that midi on that low kick. It was just like, oh, low midis are so mean. the timing down on that so I gotta be careful of that. Avoid twice in a row. I thought I did. 
get that good meaty timing. I need to learn the combo because Taka is a different combo. <laughs> it's like shit. I need to learn the combo against Taka. It's probably just 6 pp. It's probably just do that, 6 pp. Maybe 6 6 kk. Punishes Avari, which right now punishes Avari is just the priority. Center myself. Uh, lost my focus a bit there. Let's see if I can do it.
Spirit, that was a very stressful round. <laughs> I need to improve it, thank you. Working on it, but it's hard. <laughs> so. Round one. Ready, go. That was, that's the one, no, that's, yes, that's the minus 15, but that's side turns of prime minus 9. Looks like side turn, but I'll take it. Evades the front. And like, maybe he just evades the down. Let's see if that's what he does. This 
habit might be evading to down. His habit's evading to down. Okay. The next time we have a sparring session, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna punish him for that. Okay, his, his evade habits, he fades it down. It is, yeah. There, now he's going up, okay. Now he's evading it up, so. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna send it to our Bushido because uh, my kids have been wanting to spend some time, so I'm gonna do that with them. Uh, this weekend it's a little busy, so I don't know if I'll be able to play much VF, but we'll see. Maybe Saturday night, maybe Sunday. Uh, but actually, I think it's gonna be a lot of New Year stuff, so we'll see. But thank you very much. I thought the sets were really good. Um, so let's do. Let's talk about it a little bit before I go. Um, I think everything's been covered. In the second set, the big difference was I played a lot more moral. I played a lot more safe. It's still dangerous, but I played way more safe against Bushido, and I was punishing his wanting to crouch guard and then stand guard on reaction. And I did that with, um, well, one was on Okazemi, I was using Leon's forward stance into P which punishes you, like if you crouch, then it gives me a, a KK combo after that stagger. Um, and it, it, it wants you to end up standing guard so I can guard break you. Um, then, but the main thing was, was I was keeping it tight, fighting up close, using just jabs, just using basic punch elbow throw. Taka, I think, does have trouble with like, can't really backdash those situations, you know? But he does have some stuff where he just imposes his game. Uh, something I could do more of is I do need to 
make use of all the plus five situations more against Taka. Um, so even if you like recovery hit with a high jab against Taka, as long as your jab hits him, he's in Nitaku, right? And that's a big difference from every other character where technically, you know, like uh, Himajan could fuzzy guard that situation. Uh, but against Taka, you just know that mid throw is going to work. So you got to remember that your plus five is in Nitaku, so I need to do that more against Taka. Um, just like Hungry Centaur said, um, when Taka does his, you know, like, um, kick guard punch um, or his headbutt thing um, then it's minus 15 so you need to punish that I need to punish that and I'm now I'm a little more aware on defense so I'm improving my punishes slowly um, Leon it's not much damage but it's still something and Leon always gets PKP anyways if he doesn't know what else to do however PKP I think it's going to be like a minus four situation, so I think Taka can fuzzy guard. Um, something everybody needs to do, including me, is let's say Leon's elbow punch is minus 13. Well, against m most of the cast, that, that means that their punish is a PK. And that means that that's, sh that's a situation I need to at least know that I should do. I much of the time should do a fuzzy guard until they do the anti-fuzzy guard stuff. So it's like, okay, I do elbow punch, they PK, I should already know that that PK was probably coming, so then I need to be ready to fuzzy guard if I see PK, you know? That's something everybody needs to do, right? Take all of your minus 12s and your minus 13s and tell your, train yourself to just be ready to fuzzy guard if you get a PK punish. Even your minus 14s, because it depends on the cast that you're fighting against. Um, now each opponent's PK is a different frame. It could be three, it could be four, it could be five. And so, like Jeffrey, it's three, so it means you gotta do 2G standing G, so 2G, 5G. But against Jackie and Akira, it's minus, they're plus four, so you need to do crouch dash fuzzy guard. When I, and so, train yourself to fuzzy guard, and, and especially Jackie doesn't have much recourse, you know? Uh, he's not really got much to really punish you for fuzzy guarding aside from like low back fist, sweep, uh, you know, delay throw, you know? And if that happens, well, you can recognize that that's what he's doing, you know? And then you can play around it. But, um, but that's an important thing that more and more players have to utilize is the fact that uh, not just is blocked elbow a common fuzzy guard situation, but PK punish is arguably the most should be the most common fuzzy guard situation after blocked elbow so uh let's all keep working on that um but yeah uh uh bushido um is responding fast so I'm, i don't want to say he's slow because he's not slow but i do think um if his throw mix up is increases a little bit more it's going to be really, really scary. Um, I did get caught by quite a bit of throws from him, but I'm not sure if I got caught by enough. I think I think he could have thrown me way more. I think in both sets, he could have thrown me a lot more. And so um, I was spared that both him and I were spared from each other, not wanting to throw as much. I think in the last set, I threw him a lot, right? But I think in the first set, it, there were some moments where I threw him, but then there were some moments where I just kept trying to poke and hoping that he would make a mistake, right? And that was the problem. Then I think the tables turned, and I think in the last set, uh, he was poking also and hoping I would make a mistake, and I was just like, well, I, I can do this poke game all day, right? Um, it's more comfortable than when I was eating the other stuff earlier, where, <laughs> where I went for an uppercut and he evaded and did some huge ass thing and I couldn't figure out like how I got hit by it, you know? So, yeah, let's keep working at it. And uh, um, it's a lot of good sharpening and discipline. And I think I kept my composure in the last set pretty, like about as good as I, I do. So I'll keep working on that. Thank you very much for your comments, Hungry Centaur. Uh, JSM also. Everyone, thanks for the feedback. It's helped so much. And uh, let's keep enjoying our BF, you know. Uh, we're a tight community, but we have a lot of quality players. Um, so let's keep playing and keep sparring, you know. Um, you guys have helped me so much. And I look forward to, um, to doing this with you guys more. <laughs> Good games. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support. 
I'm gonna we're gonna raid Bushido if the if the web app lets us. Sometimes it does not. It sucks when it does not. Um, Twitch is really well twitchy. So let's see here. So let's see if we can send it to Bushido. And I think I, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm hoping numbers will do. I'm hoping numbers will be streaming soon this weekend. I don't know how busy. Usually family plans, but for him it's usually Chinese New Year's instead of regular New Year's. So. All right, here we go. We're sending it to Bushido. Everybody have a good one, and maybe I'll see you guys very soon tonight. didn't go to him? Okay. Raid, as usual, Raid didn't work. So, please do watch KDQ Bushido. Um, I'm gonna type it in. Uh, the Raid didn't work, but that's Twitch for you. <laughs> Anyways, anyhow, thank you all very much. Thank you.